Thomas, Percy, and Toby love working on the branch line together. The three engines are great friends, but one morning, Thomas the tank engine was feeling very pleased with himself. <laughs> the fat controller thinks I'm such an important engine. Who knows what would have happened to the children if I hadn't rescued them? That was very brave of you, Thomas. Indeed, but it's good to have you back on the branch line again. It's nice to be home, but I'm starting to think that all this branch line work is beneath me. I'm a hero, Percy. I could be doing so much more. Percy and Toby were speechless. Later that day, Percy was shunting trucks in the yard when Thomas arrived. Thomas thinks he's better than us, but I'll show him just how useful I am. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Hmm. This doesn't look very safe to me. We'll let them know at the next station. But when Toby arrived at the station, he was surprised to see that no one was there. Unbeknownst to Toby, the farmer was bringing his sheep up to the platform. Oh, look! Excuse me! <laughs> oh, Toby, you scared all the sheep away. I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't know you were there. Don't worry about it, Toby. It was only an accident. Soon enough, the farmer rounded up his sheep, and Toby told the workmen about the damaged tracks. That night at the sheds, Toby told the engines about the damaged tracks. Drivers said the tracks are unsafe. Please be careful. I noticed that too when I went past. Ah, you two are silly. You've already caused enough confusion and delay as it is. With an attitude like that, you'll surely land into trouble. Yes, you will. But Thomas took no notice. Oh, I need some sleep. Good night. The next day, Thomas was still boasting. Percy and Toby are such fusspots. I'll be fine. Please be careful, Thomas. We don't want you to get into any trouble. Luckily, no one was hurt, but Thomas was stranded. Thomas has come off the rails. Can you help him? Of course. Well, well, well. You told us that you thought branch line work was beneath you, but it looks like you're beneath the branch line now. Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I didn't mean it. We know. Come on then, let's get you up. The three engines then reconvened at the shed. I'm really sorry. I think I got a little too puffed up in my smoke box. You certainly did, but that's all right. We really were glad to have you back. But now we'll have to make do without you again. I'm sure you'll do a tremendous job, because you both are really useful. <laughs>